Welcome to Old Friends. It's Beth. May evening in Kentucky. Flowers are blooming. Bluegrass is blossoming out. I'm going to walk up the hill, but I'd like to stop in and say hello to Silver Charm and Alphabet Soup. They've been out all day. They're tucked in the stalls for the night. And Gorgeous George is in there with Soup. He's just not tall enough to look out the stall door. We're going to leave the main tour route and head over to the side and we're going to go up the hill, but we are going to take the side way up the hill. And I'd like to stop and look in on one other good friend. It's Maggie. Hey there, Maggie. Now we start our journey up the hill. And here comes Tune Into Bow. Tune Into Bow is a Florida bred. He's nine years old. His pedigree is pretty modest. In fact, I think you have to get back to his great grandparents to get any horses that you might have heard of. But one of them is gone west. So that Bobo is a great, great, great grandson of Secretariat. He himself was a claimer. He won three races, but he won on both the dirt and the turf. He won in Florida and at the Saratoga race track. Tune in to Bo retired to us in 2016 and he's a great favorite with us. And this is Easy Grades. Easy Grades is 21 now. He ran in the Kentucky Derby in 2002. That's the Derby that War Emblem won. Easy Grades stayed on the track through the age of nine. By that time, he pretty much lost his form. He ran at Churchill in the fall of 2008 in a $5,000 claiming race, the cheapest kind that Churchill runs. And that was the track he had once run for the roses, and that just didn't seem right. So Michael talked to David Vance, his trainer, and he said he felt the same way. And so they worked out Easy Grades retirement to us. And Easy has been with us since early in 2009. Here comes Saratoga episode. Move over, buddy. Saratoga episode was raced by Sacatoga Stables. That's Funny Side's owners, the yellow school bus folks. And he was trained by Barkley Tag, like Funny Side. He broke his maiden at Saratoga, which was appropriate for a horse named Saratoga episode. He's 14 now. On the other side of the run is a great big pasture with some special guys in it. This is Sakitumi Samurai. He's a son of First Samurai. He had 35 starts. He was a decent earner. And I have to admit, he's also one of the charmers of the farm with those looks and his gentle disposition. This is Who's On First. He is one of my favorites. Hoozy is 15 years old now. He's a grandson of the champion three-year-old filly and Breeders' Cup Distaff winner Sacahuista, if you remember her. He himself is, was an allowance horse. He was a promising runner. He had a career-ending injury. And Jim Ponte, a member of the partnership that owned him, Trackman Golf Club Stable. Jim retired him to old friends. Jim Ponte donates a good bit of the beautiful printing for old friends. And this is Fabulous Strike. What didn't he do? He's 17 now. He's a Pennsylvania bred. 
here in a million and a half. He won the Vosburg, he won the True North, he won the Alfred G. Vanderbilt, he won the Aristides. Fabulous strike, one of our stars. Back there is Kama to the top. I hope you'll come over. Kama to the top is a Florida bred. He's 12. He ran in the 2011 Kentucky Derby, the Animal Kingdom one. Soldat was in it too. He was really known as a sprinter though. He earned a million. Fantastic day didn't come over to see us. He's a grandson of Seattle Slough. He's 20 years old now. He was bred by Brereton Jones and raced in Canada. Marshall Rooster was foaled in England. He raced once in England, came to America at age three. He was a hard working claimer. He had 74 starts, eight wins. And he's not a high earner, but a hard working, honest guy. This is the last of these big pastures to get up to the top of the hill. And we have a mixture of superstars and just really great horses in here. That's LOL. He's not famous. He's by Spitestown. He was bred by Samantha Siegel. He had 55 starts. Kudos is a millionaire. He's by Chris S. Out of soup, a daughter of Damascus. He was a homebred for Jerry and Ann Moss, trained by Richard Mandela. He was a turf runner, a late bloomer, didn't win till four years old, but once he got going, it was look out. He won the Oaklawn Handicap, the Californian, he also set a, a record at Hollywood Park that will always stand. Here comes Interwin. He was a non-winner as a racehorse in his native Australia, but he became a three-star eventer. He was ridden in Australia by Sam Lyle. He was imported into the U.S. in 2009, competed through 2010 to the age of 12. Then he became a teacher of young riders, teaching them to uh, perfect their form going over jumps, retired to us in 2016, and that is a firm success. He's probably the superstar in here with his buddy, Northern Stone. A firm success is one of the many really good sons of the Triple Crown winner, Affirmed. Firm success is 26 years old now. He was owned by Albert Freed Jr., trained by Richard Schasberg, ridden by Richard Migliori and Jorge Chavez. Firm success earned over $2 million on the track. He kind of keeps his buddy Rocky Northern Stone in line. Firm success wants a carrot. You're never too big a star to want a carrot. Just a blisteringly fast horse. He won the Vosburg, the Cigar Mile, the Carter Handicap. Those are all grade ones. He won the Forgo, the General George. Amazing horse. It's getting dark now. Time to say good night. It's peacefully. What? Wake Forest? What? Brilliant decision. I think I'll leave you to play with them for a little while. Good night. <laughs>